Hi, my name's Colin and this is the Action Figure Resource Video Channel. The place for all the action figure news, reviews, tutorials and guides. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the 15 most expensive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys ever produced. Do you still have a few vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys laying around your or your parents' basement or loft? If so, now may be the time to dig them out because you might be sitting on a small fortune. Like so many other great toy franchises from the 70s, 80s and 90s, this one started with a comic book. Back in 1984, Mirage Studios started publishing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic strip as a means of parodying other comic books. Naturally, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael and Leonardo quickly gained a cult following. And in 1987, Playmates were given the licensing rights to make Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Developed in conjunction with the animated series, the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hit the airwaves in the fall of 1987, and kids' Christmas wish list would never be the same again. After 30 plus years of fandom, various live action movies, some good and some terrible, and a handful of different toy lines, it's no surprise that some of the original and more vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys can fetch a small fortune. Whether it is because the toys are rare, limited or made by accident, some of the most valuable Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys and fair cool sets are worth thousands of dollars today. How many of these vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys did you have as a kid or still have? Let me know in the comments below. Before we get into the list of the 15 most expensive ever produced, please subscribe below, smash that like button and click on the bell icon to be informed of all my future videos. When you click on the bell icon, make sure you select all in the drop down menu so you get informed whenever I upload a new video. Also, to help support this channel and to help me continue making these videos, check out the link here or see the description box below for more information. If you're looking to buy some vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, you can check out the new AFR Vintage Action Figures store. In the AF store, you'll find great prices, worldwide delivery available, multiple currencies accepted, special sales, monthly sales, and a customer loyalty scheme. For more information on the store and the customer loyalty scheme, see the link in the description box below. Okay, so now for the top 15 most expensive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ever produced. ActionFigureResource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures. So, the top 15 most expensive T-1000 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures or vehicles in reverse order is as follows. At number 15, we have the Channel 6 News Fan. This was released in 1992 by Playmates. The Turtle Wagon was definitely a more popular vehicle than this was, but this bright blue news fan is still worth a pretty penny today. This was sold by eBay seller Jopon34, mint in the box, for more than $600 in 2019. But what's even more surprising is just how much the individual figures go for that came with this set. For example, the April O'Neil regularly sells for $70 or more, even without any of her accessories. At number 14, we have the Scuba Diving Raff Scuba Set. This was released by Playmates in 1994, and it included Raphael with a little rafting tube. Not only is it extremely rare, but this listing was still in its original box with very minimal wear and was a unique piece and sold for $676. At number 13 is the 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. This was an excellent vehicle and a great fun piece to add to your collection. Released in 1989, this was very popular with fans and collectors. The turtles were not going to go anywhere without their trusted party wagon. This vehicle set is incredibly rare, especially mint in the box. This particular one sold for nearly $750 opened, used or incomplete wagons often sell for around the $50 to $300 mark, depending on their condition. Number 12 is the Mini Mutants Playset Cyber Rover, released in 1995. This playset is rare and hard to find, particularly a mint in the box sample, hence its hefty price tag of nearly $900. You will also find AFA graded versions of this. This particular version was graded at 75. Used versions of this without the box often go for around the $200 mark, even without the accessories. And number 11, we have the Master Splinter action figure. A mint on the card version of this sold in 1988 for $900 and remained in great condition. There were two minor cracks in the packaging but Splinter himself was in great shape. This was part of the original 1988 lineup and is extremely hard to find, particularly on the card hence the premium price that this one sold for. Number 10, we have the Foot Cruiser Turtle Trooper and Sewer Dragster. This was originally released in 1989. This version sold on eBay for $950 in new condition with everything still mint in the box. Vehicles 
and figures often sell for extremely high prices when still mint in the box, and this was no exception. But even used versions without the box often sell for hundreds of dollars, depending on the state of the vehicle and its accessories. And number nine is a set of the original 1988 Turtles. These figures came from the Heroes in Half a Shell collection and sold for $987. What also made these figures stand out was that they had been professionally graded to ensure their quality and sealed in containers. On their own, these figures tend to sell for between $50 and $300. Unpackaged, loose, used examples of these figures usually sell for between $50 to $300 each. And number eight is the Sewer Playset. The Sewer Playset was released in 1989 and allowed your figures to descend into the sewers. One of the most expensive of these sets sold in 2019 for $1,200 with some very minor wear and tear, but otherwise in great shape and complete with the box and all of the accessories inside were still sealed and shut. Used and incomplete sewer playsets often sell from anywhere around the $80 mark to upwards of $200. Number seven, we have the Shogun Show 8 toy. This was released in 1994 and recently a mint on the card version of these sold for $1,500. This was released in the 80s as part of the second series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to be released by Playmate. As well as being mint on the card, the box itself didn't have any cracks, tears or bends and had been kept in pristine condition, hence is extremely high price tag. At number six, we have the Rock Steady figure. The Rock Steady figure was released in 1988 and was part of the first line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles released by Playmate. This figure does not come on the market often which is why collectors are willing to spend so much money to get hold of one. This particular example sold for $1,758 and was an unopened version still in its original packaging. Welcome to the best action figure guide in the world. The largest database of action figures on the internet with 60,000 plus individual vintage action figures listed, including Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, and many, many more. Each toy listing has information on its release date, the manufacturer, product number, its rarity, and the historical value of the toy. Available of our special limited time beta discount of 70%, and get a full year subscription for only $14.99. Join now. At number five, we have the Technodrome playset. Released in 1990, this unopened set sold for just over the $2,000 mark back in December 2019. However, if you don't have this sort of money to spend, you can pick up open and used sets for around the $300 mark. This one, however, was such a high ticket item because it is still packaged in its original mint box, complete with all its accessories. At number three, we have the undercover Leonardo figure. This was released in 1994. When you are a Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtle, you can't exactly walk around in public without a disguise. This undercover Leonardo from 1994 
was a big hit with collectors and fans, which is evidenced by its particularly high listing and price. In its original packaging, this sold for $2,100. Other similar figures to this, not in quite as good condition, sell for between $1,500 and $1,700. So if you have any of these figures in your basement and your loft, it may be an idea to dig him out and make sure he's well protected and taken care of. At number three is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles scratch action figure. It is not just the main turtles that collectors want to get their hands on, but often the smaller characters such as Scratch as well. This is because these are often produced in a lot lower numbers and quantities. A very popular figure with collectors is the Scratch figure, which sells for thousands of dollars, even when they're not in mint condition. This particular listing sold for $2,500 a few months ago in 2021, but this was a mint on the card version, which will definitely help it to keep its resale value in the future. The number two most expensive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure ever released is the Slam Dunkin' Don figure, which was released in 1994. Playmates had a lot of fun releasing different versions and crossovers of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this is by far one of the most popular. Released in 1994, this Dontello figure came dressed in basketball gear and is a hot collector's item. Unlike other sports-inspired turtle toys, this version of Don also featured an alternate white jersey figure. This alternate version sells for around the $3,000 mark and it's an incredibly rare piece, perfect for the die-hard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collector or fan. Similar figures without the alternate shirt sell for around the $70 to $100 mark. But if you have one of these white alternate versions, you are sitting on a small fortune. So what is the most expensive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, set or vehicle ever produced? Well, at the top of this list, we have the Turtle Blip 2 playset. This was released in 1991, and a recent Mint in the Box version recently sold for $8 thousand dollars. This is arguably one of the coolest toys that was released in the 80s and 90s and this particular set is one of the most expensive and rarest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys you're ever likely to find. This was the rarer version 2 blip and not to be confused with the version 1 that was released earlier. The standard version one blimp playset often sell for around the thousand dollar price, even when incomplete. So even if you don't have this rarer version two, you're likely to be sitting on a small fortune. Don't forget to let me know if you had any of these, or if you still have any of these in the comments below. Also, let me know what other lists you would like me to make videos about in the future. Please subscribe below, smash that like button, and click on the bell icon to be informed of all my future videos. When you click on the bell icon, make sure you select all in the drop down menu so you get informed whenever I upload a new video. To help support this channel, 
and to help me continue making these videos, check out the link here or see the description box below for more information. If you're looking to buy some vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, you can check out the new AFR Vintage Action Figures store. Actionfigureresource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures.